We have four day school weeks. I'm pretty sure because the school can afford a fifth day. There's a fear factor. You know, we're a high poverty area uh, where kids would be, you know, considered maybe at risk with nothing to do on Fridays. Most people have sports, so they do basketball or track, or they have track meets. Um, I don't really do much on the fifth day. Playing video games, taking a nap. For the general population of our school, they probably really don't do much on Fridays. There's not really a lot to do. Helping with cows and ranching and farming. A lot of the kids are taking care of their younger siblings. A lot of them, they do nothing. They have nothing to do. How can we provide K-12 programming? How can we do this on Fridays? How can we have academic enrichment as well as, you know, getting out outdoors, playing outside, and really um, hitting on some of those things that we're losing in our four-day school week now. What's been really important during leveraging the fifth day is stepping back. The number one consumer in education is the student, the second is the parent, and the third is the community. In a sense, really, it's all one and the same. And so how do we allow them to drive this learning and build the things that they know will work best in their community? We are helping out with the fifth day learning project, trying to get a grant for our school to build um, a workshop for us to have. We don't have, you know, as many resources. We don't have those big pools of dollars that they have in metro and urban areas. I feel like, for the first time in a long time, I feel like I'm being treated as an actual person. Yeah, it feels amazing that people are like, actually, cons the adults are actually considering the younger kids' ideas, because normally it's just like, oh, okay, you can talk, but I'm not going to listen. And for once, it's like, we matter. It's amazing. Why did you guys want to come today? Well, it's just every Friday we have these classes and we don't want to miss them. We, we had it to walk, but we didn't walk, we ran. We're counting down to from Monday all the way to Friday. We know what we have here in Marcin is, is special and, and the kids know that too. These kids don't have to be here. They're here because they want to be here and that's, that's huge. And, and we want to be able to provide them with something that's valuable and that they can utilize further in their career, further in their life. What we're doing is experiencing what 360 videos are, because 360 means all around. It means that you can look everywhere from down, up, side to side, even in back of you. You actually feel like you're on it because it takes you upside down on roller coasters. And when you're in a volcano, it like jumps you up or if you feel like you're flying. You can like visit Paris, Mexico, anywhere. They want to tell kids to come over here and experience new things. I don't like being at my house and just staying there and doing nothing. I like doing really fun things. I definitely like to say thank you for this amazing program and I would also like to tell them that I'm really excited that we get to do this and I'm glad that they took the time to think about the schools that have the four day weeks. I think it's really important for the philanthropic community, both in Colorado but nationally, to be looking at investing, supporting, partnering with rural America. Never know, and I've seen this down through the years, what you're going to be able to allow a kid to experience or provide for him that's going to turn the table and turn the switch on. He told me that I had a really good ear and that I could be really good at this if I tried really hard and that gave me a lot of motivation. They gave me a better computer, they gave me a C++ book, and they just gave me the tools necessary for me to learn programming, and now that's what I do for a living. Thank you very much for um, using or getting the supplies for us to learn. There's a lot of times we want to do something and we just don't have the resources. And sometimes it doesn't take a lot of money, but there's usually some, some price tag attached to any new thing that you start. I'm learning cool stuff. 
and not plugging into them, not investing into them, not supporting them, not learning from them is not only a hindrance for them, but I think it is for the philanthropic community and our nation as well.